Port Wellspool and Whiting are synonymous. I'm just on the edge of the channel here in about four metres of water, just near a little bit of structure, one of the uh, channel pylons. And we're hunting whiting. We've got some fresh bass yabbies that we got earlier. We're going to put some out and we can just see what these whiting are all about. Now Andy Collette's been fishing here for about 25 years and probably knows as much as anyone and especially where to catch a whiting. And this would be one of your all-time favourite spots on the run-out tide for whiting. Yeah. Now a lot of anglers who fish Western Port swear by the use of fresh squid and I must admit I think fresh squid strips are one of the best baits around but I guess Andy if it's live and it's kicking and it's what they eat naturally then it would have to be the best bait. That's the primo bait down here. Here we go. You got one on two. Well, that bass yabby was not out there for very long at all. You got a good fish, Andy? Yeah, not too bad. That's good. Oh, bad. I got on the other rod as well. Nice whiting. Look at that guy, hey? How's that, mate? That's what we're after. That's not a bad fish, that one. Whoops. And that's why they call them flappers. And we've got another one on here. You've got one there too, have you, mate? Yep. Well, we'll get this one under control. Just as that tide turned, yeah. three fish, they've just come on. Look at this guy. A nice yeah. whiting, aren't they? They're beautiful. And straight onto the bash yabbies. Good size? Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a lottery when you put your hand in a bucket of bash yabbies and you come up with something like that. <laughs> the way that you hook them, you need a long shank hook. And my favourite is the mustad bloodworm. It's a classic long shank with a chemically sharpened point and of course that whiting friendly red colour. And sizes four to six are ideal for Welshpool whiting. Feed it in just at the end of the tail and just work that hook. We can just get it around. There we go. Just work that hook down the tail. There we go. Just work that down there. Now as you can see here, the 90234, or bloodworm, has no bait holder slices on the shank. So it is important to half hitch the nipper tail to hold the bait on the hook correctly. For those who like a bait holder style, try the long bait holder. It's a must add hook, stainless steel, super sharp, and it's got the same shaft length as the bloodworm. And lastly, if you're getting shy bites, you might need to go down to a fine gauge hook. Something like the must add fine worm is just ideal. And there you have it. Have a look at that, Andy. One of the best whiting baits you're likely to get. Still there. Sorry about that. That's all right. What do we got here? The whiting. That I'm happy with. Good size whiting. Mate, they're thick and fast now, and getting a little bit bigger. They certainly like those live bass shabbies. He's a little bit better. Isn't he? Yeah. I'd say probably 37. Yeah. Good stuff. Live bass shabbies. Three hours of pumping, well spent. Now the sort of rig you use for whiting in a fast flowing tidal environment, I just use a simple patnoster. And for whiting, just get this out of the way here. What that allows you to do is just change your sinker as the tide makes and falls away. And the run out tide's just really starting to pump now. And this sinker that I've got on, even though it's fairly heavy, about two ounces, still not holding the bottom, so I'm going to go up to three. And when I say simple pattern oster, just a short loop to your sinker, 
and then about a metre dropper to your hook. Eight pound lines, perfect. Monofilament is probably all you need, it's all I use. Nice tough sort of a line. And that's how simple it is, change up from a two ounce to a three ounce as the tide picks up. We'll just pop the loop through there. Over there, sinker's changed, ready to go again. Now, this is a good fish. What have we got here? Through a valley, no wonder. And go just every bit as hard as a King George Whiting. Nice whitey. Just look at that guy. What a cracker. He's a good fella. Hey, Much hey, better. Hey. Yeah. Hey, well, you can have him to unhook, mate. There you go. Well, now, the tackle I'm using for whiting is just quite simple. It's my finesse spin sticks. Uh, light to medium, about a three to five kilo rod, seven foot eight long, just an eight pound short. Paternoster with a long leader. Perfect. And you'll get all the whiting you need in a place like Port Wellspool. Better fish, we hope. They fight hard in the current. I'll bet my bottom dollar this is a whiting. Yeah, it is too. Ooh, nice whiting. Nice whiting, Andy. And that's really interesting. One rod, I've got a two ounce sinker on. This one a three. Yeah. And the other rod just haven't taken, had, haven't had a bite. It's just not getting down the bottom. So as the tide's picked up, it's just pulled that, even though it's a lighter outfit, it's just pulled it up off the bottom and let's we'll see if we can get a few more. Yeah. Here we go. Righto. Oh, got him. Well, that's a good way to end the day, mate. Double hook up. And if we're not smart about it, it'll probably be a quadruple hook up. Yeah. They're hot now. Don't they like these bash yabbies? Unbelievable. Just Look at that. He's a yeah. ripper. And another one here. Hey. Well, what a session. Port Wells Pool, King George Whiting. We've got a bag full of them down here. We're going to knock it up. We've had a great time. Bash yappies. Whoop. Nothing better. <laughs> and slimy King George Whiting. Well, they are Good on you, mate. Day. That's a cracker, that one, too. Yeah. That's well up near 38. But a great session, and thanks for the trip. Uh, anytime. And to keep up to date with everything the Fishing Show crew is up to, including our latest competitions and prize giveaways, head over to our Facebook page, AFN The Fishing Show. And if you're keen for content, AFN TV is now free to join with over a thousand videos at your fingertips, plus tip and tactics from Bill and myself.